And I've tried asking God. I said, God, what exactly is this next season going to look like? Can you give me a five-year plan of how it's all going to play out? And God said, girl, you know that's not how it works. And I said, well, it was worth a shot, okay? Hey everyone and welcome in. My name is Tulu and on this channel I make faith-based videos to encourage you as you fight the good fight of the faith daily. Y'all, your girl put in her two-week notice at work. It's kind of giving what on earth is she doing, but just hear me out, okay? So if y'all watched my last video, you know that I have been going through what feels like a quarter-life crisis and it has been closely related to me not really feeling my job anymore, okay? I have been working in a corporate tech 9-to-5 job for the past three years and honestly, from the outside looking in, you might say I have nothing to complain about. Like, it's flexible, it pays well, it gives me stability, it allows me to afford a certain lifestyle, like, literally, what's the problem, right? But I don't know, y'all, like, over the past eight months, it feels as if my heart has been getting like hardened towards this job. Do y'all know what I mean when I say that? Like, have you ever read stories in the Bible of people's hearts getting hardened towards something? I know it's a weird way to describe this, but it's honestly the only way I could describe what I've been feeling. It's been zero motivation to do any of the work. It's been me kind of getting an attitude whenever somebody asks me to do something. It's been me taking multiple naps throughout the day. Like, I've basically been doing an extreme version of quiet quitting and it's gotten to a point where I've just been collecting paychecks without doing much work. And before y'all start saying that that's the ideal situation to be in, like, it just wasn't sitting right with me. And I want to have integrity in the work that I do. And I want my work to honor God. And I want to feel a sense of purpose and accomplishment in the work that I'm doing. And that just stopped being the case with this job. As I've been praying about this over the past few months, I also feel like God has been trying to call me out of this job for a few months now and prepare me for a new season that he wants to bring me into. But the tricky part about that is that I still don't have the clearest idea of what that's going to look like. Like, I just believe it has something to do with this channel especially and sharing my faith and other things that God has been putting on my heart, but that's about it. And I've tried asking God. I said, God, what exactly is this next season going to look like? Can you give me a five-year plan of how it's all going to play out? And God said, girl, you know that's not how it works. And I said, well, it was worth a shot, okay? That's why I continued to stay at this job for as long as I did. Literally holding on by a thread is because I didn't and still don't really know what God's going to do. What I fail to remember though is that God doesn't usually reveal the whole staircase to us as he's guiding us, right? Like he reveals things to us step by step and us being obedient to take each step is what will unlock the next level. Me choosing to stay at this job for as long as I did was essentially me telling God that I was putting more trust in my job than I was in him, in that I didn't trust that he could provide for me again, and that I didn't trust that his plans for me were better than what my situation already was. Which I've definitely asked God in the past to slap me upside the head if I ever doubted him again, because he's just shown me too many times again and again that he is faithful and that he has good plans for me. And so that's why last week I decided that I'm going to stop living in fear and doubt and stop putting my trust in a job that is clearly not intended for me in this season anymore and I quit. I truly believe that me quitting was me taking that first step. Like I have no idea what the rest of the staircase is going to look like but it's the way I already feel the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, guarding my heart and my mind. And it's been really cool to see how God has started to download some new ideas into my mind, even as it relates to the content I'll be putting out on this channel. And you know, that only started to happen once I took this step. I want this video to serve two purposes, okay? First of all, I wanted to encourage anyone that has been struggling with allowing fear to stop them from taking steps of faith. I want to encourage you to remember how faithful God has been and how he has always made a way, even at the times when you didn't understand how he was going to. Just like me, he might be waiting for you to take that first step 
so that he can start revealing the next ones to you. So be encouraged, don't be afraid, and trust that God can and will do what he says he's gonna do. My friend Lydia recently said something that was so encouraging to me. She said, if you're leaning on the fence about starting a new and maybe scary chapter in your life, lean all the way over. You learn so much more in times of discomfort and change and what you learn and the experiences you gain are worth taking the leap of faith into something new, invigorating, and inspiring. That was so encouraging to me and I hope it encourages y'all as well. Secondly, I want this video to serve as a marker in my life, okay? This was a pretty big step for me and I still have no idea how it's gonna unfold in the next weeks, months, hopefully not years, Lore, hopefully not years. But I trust God and I am excited to see what he does and I'll be sure to make another video down the line with the testimony of how God did what he does yet again, okay? so be sure to stay tuned for that before we close out this video i want to share three verses that have really been helping to encourage me as i navigate this season the first one is found in psalms chapter 35 verses 25 to 26. it says i have been young and now i am old and yet i have not seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging for bread he is ever lending generously and his children become a blessing. This is one of my absolute favorite verses and it always helps to remind me of the consistency in God's nature. Like in all the years this person lived from young to old, they've never seen God forsake his people. And the same applies for me in my 26 years of life so far. <laughs> so I hope that encourages you. The second verse is Ephesians chapter 4 verse 19 and it says, and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I think we can tend to forget that everything we can ever think of in this world is available to God. Like, he doesn't lack anything. And the Bible says that he will provide for each of our needs out of this abundance. So I hope that encourages you as well. The last verses come from Matthew chapter 6 and verse 27 says, and which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? Now jump to 34, it says, Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. These verses have really been challenging me to stop trying to be in control by trying to understand how the next you know, few months will unfold, but rather to take things day by day and see what God does with each day. Tomorrow is literally not even promised anyway, and so there's no point in us getting all worked up about it when we could be enjoying the present moments and the sweet things that God is doing in them, okay? Y'all, thank you so much for sticking with me through this video. Trusting God can be a really hard thing to do, but is always worth it like god ain't never disappoint me okay and i hope this video encouraged you to take that first step of faith whatever it might be let me know in the comments down below how and in what areas you feel like god might be calling you to step out in faith i'm praying that he gives you the courage to do it and the peace to not look back until next time let's keep fighting the good fight of the faith and i'll see you in my next video bye